Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to go through the Waytable editor inside Butter Synth. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so Butter Synth, a very great synth. Standalone version at the moment, but of course it runs as an AUV3 inside your favorite DO or mixer. Now, when you first launch it, as now, you have an initialized preset, which sound like this. Now, if you don't have that, like, for example, you press the on button synth and uh, you have, for example, a pluck um, or any preset, really. And you want to initialize the preset, click here on the name of the preset and then on the top left you have in yellow in it. Click on in it. It will ask you if you want to initialize the preset and if you are sure to lose all unsafe changes, you click on in it and there you are. You are back to the preset initialized. Okay, perfect. As you can see at the top in the middle, you see so that is the um, waveform. And um, you have an edit uh, button, a browse button. Then uh, you have a wave table position and also a phase dial. So a wave table position dial and a phase dial. And we have selected wave table one and that is active. Now you can change the waveform here. So with the arrow left and right. So right, we go to square. Right again, triangle. Back, square. Back, so. Of course, you can change the position of the way table. You can see it shows you that. Remember, a way table contains a number of waveforms positioned in uh, a different frames. OK, so you could also click on browse and then you have these uh, a window which allows you to see what are the libraries, factory and users, or you can even open a file, the category under a library and then, of course, the percent under the category. And the user, you can see I've already created an SFM category. Now you can click on it and see some of the preset. You can also swipe to the left and delete that like so. And you can do the same also for the one which have been imported as well. Okay, so back to factory preset. So there you are. Now, if you press on the edit button, it will present you with a waveform and bin editor. So let's start from the top. You have a close button to close, of course, that window. You have a tools on the top left, which allows you to mark the selected frames, which are down here in the middle. You see they say seven, eight, nine, ten. You can delete any one selected. You can delete after the one selected. You can co copy the marked and um, to the selected one, or you can move a mark to the selected one. Then you can load or save a single frame, like in these are frames, say it's seven, eight, nine, ten, etc. You can load and save multiple, so multiple frames in a weight table. You can resample by 16 uh, frames, 128 frames, or 256 frames. Resample means that uh, uh, Butter Synth would use the internal synth engine to sample that output and then position it uh, frame by frame, depending on the option you've chosen here uh, inside the, the way table. Now, let's click outside. Um, here you have, it says so, again, you can click on here and you have the previous window to select a different waveform. You have an arrow here on the left and on the right, so you can move again between different waveform. As you can see at the bottom here, it shows you the uh, frequency and their amplitude, okay? And you can also see going by a phase view as well. Now, let's go back to frequency here. And as you can see, as you change square, triangle, sign, etc., it will show you. And there are some which are, which are combi, like this one, which have multiple waveforms at different frames. You can see one frame, second frame, third frame, fourth frame. The green um, circle here means that that frame is selected. So if I was to click here and then go to tools and then say mark selected, you can see it moves it there. Okay, so 
Then moving on here, you have selected effect and you have a number of effects here like pre-gain, phase shift, harmonic, shift, combo filter. You can do simple and hold and here you can move up and down. You can scroll because there are more. You can do wave folding, tube, frequency boost, low and high pass filter, pick filter and post gain. So a lot you can do. Then um, moving on, actually, let me show you some of them. Harmonic shift, you can click in the middle and set it like so, right? And um, so it's very simple to use. Combi, uh, again, like so, right? And let me go back to a simple so, okay? Like that, so it's easier to understand. So simple and hold like that, okay? Or um, wavefold, you configure it like that, right? So you change and eventually uh, what will happen is that uh, you see um, a line beneath, uh, underneath with a slightly, a slightly different color, which will show you uh, the post effect, okay? So let's uh, initialize these again. I like always to do that. Let's go inside the editor. Let's try a way fold again there and um, there it is, you can see that line there. Okay, there's the effect, of course you can change that. And um, of course that will, uh, in, a, in a moment, will also give you the different effect when it is actually applied. And you can continue like that for a different one. You can see that it's been applied. Sometimes it can be a little bit uh, CPU intensive. But anyway, removing it, doing like so. Then, you have configuration here. So you have draw tools. The default one is line, click and hold. You can draw a line like that. And you see the effect here on the frequency view. You can also have a pencil, a brush. And a curvature. You can you can change the curve, and if you double click, you create a point, double click another point, double click on the point to remove. Again, quick shortcut, move forward and backwards to get that. So you can move between the different uh, frames so it's uh, easier. So you have that enable, so you make it smoother, and then you can have the start and end which are linked or not, if you don't want them linked. Oh yes, you can see they respected the link, which makes it easier as you move from one frame to the next or as the waveform is repeated. So back to effect. So actually let's go back to pen. There you are. Okay. Of course here you can click on the plus sign and you can uh, create another frame uh, as you've seen I've done and you can continue um, like so. You can select one frame, go to tools, you can load a single one like for example a soda, click outside you can see that it has loaded the soda, you can go to the next one and load for example another waveform, a triangle of course and uh, uh, there it will be. Okay, remember that uh, you might still have some effect on so to remove those. You can also um, play here, like so. What I like to do, just to give you a sense of how it works, let's initialize it again. And uh, let's go to the editor again. Now you see this so waveform. If I was to amplify a particular um, frequency here. Or here. So I like to actually work like that is actually quite nice. But again, you have also a phase as well, which you can use. Again, let's now go to a preset. Let's go higher octave. Higher. Okay, 
Perfect. Now, what you can do, let's go to the editor here. Let's click Tools. And then let's say Resample Synth Output 256. So you can see it has resampled it there. And you can see the different way, waves, forms inside the wave table. Now you can go to Tool and can click Save, Load and Save Multi. You can go to Users, click on the categories, create a, a category like so, press OK, and then click Save here. And now we call that SFM1 and click Save, and now we have saved that indeed. If I go here and I click Load and Save Multi, there it is, okay? And now, for example, what you could do is, again, go and initialize a, uh, a preset like so, then go to the Edit, right? Now you can go to Tools, Load, and load that one. Lower an octave. And then what we can do is put the modulator here to change the weight table position. So we go to the metrics, so we set as a source, for example, envelope uh, one or envelope one, envelope two, because normally envelope one is used for amplitude. Destination, we scroll down a lot of different destination, weight table one, and then weight table position. And then what we do is set this to max. And then we can go here, right? And um, we can go to envelope two, right? Set the sustain down to zero. Then we send the attack. And then more. So you can see it's going through the different frames of the weight table. Give you a bit of decay. And of course, depending on the speed, etc., the how much attack you give, it will determine how quickly it will go through the weight table position. And of course, it depends on the envelope here. So you want to give it perhaps a bit of attack. Remove the sustain. And the K, more attack. Then on envelope two, less attack, it goes quicker up. Perhaps down to zero. Then on envelope one for the amplitude, give a bit of release. and so on. So it's quite good. You can see here it's going through the different waveforms through the wave table. It's going through this one that you can see here, right? So, and then of course, um, um, you know, endless possibilities. So you could add, for example, effect, right? So you can create some very nice preset. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Hopefully you found the tutorial useful. It's very simple to use the wavetable and bin editor. These are the different bins for each frequency or phase. You can go also by phase. You can see the changes there as in real time. And remember, you can apply all different effects 
as well. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you next time.